Model 8 parts in decimals. Cray Elements Direct Modeling Express provides customers with capability to use logically grouped parts in decimals that make the overall structure of a complicated design and task much easier to understand. An assembly is the owner of any number of parts or other assemblies. The root assembly is always the main assembly. The idea of grouping can be explained in the example of an engine. There are hundreds of components that should be created and assembled properly. It is far simpler to understand the motor structure when they are organized into the logical assemblies like carburetor, crankcase, propeller, backplate and so on. You can create an assembly structure either before or after creating a part. If you create the structure before, it is called an empty structure because although the parts and assembly's names exist, there is no geometry until the machining operation are completed. Making the structure after machining, you apply such options like new part, new assembly, rename and owner. It is possible to change the owner of a part and assembly except the root assembly at any time. Use owner option in the modify section or drag part icons in the structure browser. You can quickly copy necessary parts and assemblies by means of copy command from the part and assembly group of the structure tab. You will need to specify the source, it is the parts or assembly that you want to copy, the name of the copy it is generated automatically, and own allocation of the copied part or assembly, by default it is the root directory. Click option one level if you want to share the children of the source part or assembly instead of making individual copies. Inside the create Copy dialog box there are some position options that can be used directly in the copying process or after it is finished. And they are almost similar to those for positioning work planes plus some additional. The share operation allows you to create a shared copy of part and assembly. I mean exact duplicate of the original one. However, a shared copy is not independent of the original. It uses the original geometry and topological information of the source and changes when the original is changed. We will create three equal switches for our digital sound process at the one and the same place. And after this we will use the dynamic positioning. Because a single and shared property is a position, you can place each shared copy wherever you need. But if you change a part position in assembly origin, this will affect the same part in the shared assembly. Crow Elements automatically assigns name for shared parts and assemblies that you can see in the structure browser. You can discard relations between parts and assemblies at any moment by using the unshare command. In this case, a shared copy becomes an independent copy and will not be affected by further changes of the source. In our example, you see how changes of original part leads to changes of all the shared. One more very important block is position block. Let's look how it works in terms of backplate positioning. The special options group inside the position command that you can open through the structure tab uh, from the part and assembly group allow you to control position of the parts made in an aligning faces to put an assembly together quickly. The made option positions faces so they lie in opposing directions on the same plane. The align option positions faces so they lie on the same side of a plane. In our example, we first make two surfaces parallel, then we use align axis options for two cylindrical surfaces, and after that we will connect two points, one on back plate and another corresponding point on the crankcase assembly. The made align options allow you to make the faces, edges or vertices together, make the specified faces or edges parallel, align two faces, edges or vertices along the same plane, or a specified axis. Reverse option reverses the normal direction when you select made align or parallel. Clear all clears all options currently defined in this section of the dialog. Previously moved objects remain at their current position.
keep an active asset creates a new relation in the active relation set based on a map or a line operation. The additional options made of set and a line of set allow to specify of set for this operation. While working with project, you may create identical multiple parts in a linear or radial pattern. Go to the Structure tab, Pattern Assembly Group, More Button, and in Create Multiple Section, find Linear or Radial Comments. You may choose whether the copies are independent or shared copies. Toggle Copy or Share options in the tab of this dialog box to define it. There are some common comments for linear and radial pattern. Source, it is the reactive part by default. Base name, it is the name taken from the source with automatically added number after a point. Type an assembly name if you want your copy to be a part of the assembly in the owner section and number of copies or shared copies. To complete the operation of a linear recreation, you should define the direction using the direction 3D copilot and an offset. To complete the operation of radial recreation, you should define an axis using the axis 3D copilot and an angle for the rotation. Working with large assemblies, it is significant to detect defects in two parts. Most comments have an automatic check and fix options that will check the modified part and apply specified correction. However, you can switch this option off to speed up modification. You can check any parts for problems using the check part command that you will find in the analysis tab. If career elements detect some corruptions and errors, the edges of the problem area will be highlighted. By default, the check part command will report warnings when the parts are invalid in such way. Age is shorter than the minimum age setting, interstice, non-manifold part, knife ages, and surfaces with more control points than the maximum set of number. If the part checker reports not manifold parts, you may continue your work. But the parts joined along an infinitely thin age or at an infinitely small point are not manufacturable. The clash analysis command from the verify group of the analysis tab allows you to know if parts and assemblies interfere or touch when they are positioned together. You can carry out a clash analysis of the same part assemblies in different configuration. Compare two parts, compare an assembly with a part, compare two assemblies with each other or all parts in each other in an assembly or in list. The Calculate option displays the results in the Clash Analysis issue browser. The Keep Results option saves a Clash or Touch Array as a separate part and adds it to the Structure browser. Click Results to specify all possible variants in the Clash Analysis. All, Clashing Only or Touching Only.